welcome back. As promised, this episode we're going to start, see how far I get actually, we're going to start lacing the wheel. As I said at the end of the last episode, I've taken photos before I disassembled the wheel, just so I've got a back reference. There are plenty of videos online to have a look at, so I, I've, done, I've done that as well, just to refresh myself again, because it is quite a daunting task for me, something I've never done. I know there's lots of other projects I've never done before, but sometimes they come across easier and it is a basic, just learn through, read the manual and step through. Lacing a wheel is an unknown entity, quite frightening, but as I say, we're going to have a go, see how I do. If I get it okay, excellent, brilliant, I'll be well, well pleased. My backup is if I make a complete and utter hash of it, which I hope I don't, then it will have to be sent off and a professional will basically have to probably take it apart and put it back together again for me. But hopefully we won't get to that. So, as I said, everything's ready. All the spokes are lined up, inners, outers, all the nipples. I've uh, dropped oil in each one. So let's uh, stop talking and uh, get into it and see how it goes. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna basically follow it, how I've watched this guy do it on online. He seemed to make the most sense. Stuck a reference picture just above me. So I'm gonna start with my first 10, my first set of inners. every other one. First ten. Now I need to flip the hub over, flip the hub over, and I'll put in the second ten. in because that gets confusing. I find it difficult enough just with 20. Right, so that's the first 20. So that's the first 20 in position. Now if I watched him correctly, the one I start with, the next one should be four holes along. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, 
one, two, three, four. Right, so I've got these in position. Just going to loosely start putting these nipples on the end. Just a couple of turns. side loosely in I don't want to do them too tight because I need to get the other ones in from the other side which I'll flip over in a second so that's 10 so I'll flip it over and I'll do the other side get that 10 loosely fitted and then I can start with the outers all right so let's attempt this side again there's my picture So here we go then. So again, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Once you get used to it, it's probably quite therapeutic to do and very quick. All right, so that's twenty done. So when you look at the picture, it's uh, obviously there's another another load of spokes in there, so it does take a while. So next job, we're going to try the outers. So I'm going to stay on this side while I'm here. So I'll be referring to this picture. Hopefully, 
should line up. Looks like that one is that one, because that's near the bolt hole, which should go to there. fit these in. So that's the last one on this side. So I'm just going to spin the reel around. Put in the other side. So obviously if I, uh, if I actually attach these spokes we've just put in, I won't have enough clearance I don't think. so. So that's the last one, that side. Again, as before, I'll do the ripples as I go, just loose. So remember you know, I've got the hole for the inner tube. side one, two, three, four. Right, and that's the twenty this side. So now I just need to flip it over. I put the last 10 nipples in and pray to God it's actually in the right place. Alright, so let's start with the last 10. All 
Right, so I've just done, I've finished off the nipples on the outer spokes. I'm kind of questioning myself, uh, referring back to the pictures of have I got this exactly right. Yeah, so I'm looking at this one here. So there's the screw hole, so one, two, three, four. Screw hole, one, two, three, four. That seems to be in the right place, but the one underneath it seems to be going in that direction and not straight up. That should be across here. All right, well, I can't work this out. I think I've gone wrong somewhere, but I'm not entirely sure where. As I say, so looking at the photo I actually took before I cut the spokes out. So I'm looking at that bolt hole there, which is there. That spoke seems to be going over here somewhere. I mean, it actually seems to have come out quite well for a first attempt, but whether I've actually got them in the right place is the worrying thing. I mean, going by my original picture to what I have in front of me, it looks different. The actual crossover gap. It's very narrow where I've got a finger hole. Right, as you can see, I've stripped the wheel. In my time, it's actually three days later. Your time is simultaneously simultaneous problem I had it laced up it didn't look right so I stripped it back down again I've studied the photos I've gone back online I've checked videos again I had laced it wrong but the other problem I had is the spokes that I picked up off eBay that were supposedly for this rim aren't correct they're too short so quick call to well, central wheel components up in uh, Birmingham as you can see the difference the correct ones are actually longer. The problem I was having was I couldn't get these to reach the actual holes so I gave them a call said the problem I was in I'll show you the and they shipped me down the set only thing is they only had the zinc effect not stainless so that was one of the problems wrong spokes so I now have the correct spokes other batch of nipples I say I've gone back done some more checking done some more homework and I've actually put marking tabs so this one goes to this one, this one to this one, and so on. I've just done the first three on both sides. So again, there, my outers, my inners. You can 
see the difference because of the angle of the head so I now have to start again which is unfortunate but this is all part of the learning process I just want to try and get this done get this right so same as we did before I've got my starting marker which is this one to this one Point round to the left. I was really pleased that they could help me out so quickly. The other set will be going back to the person that sold them on eBay as they are incorrect. That's the first side done, flip it over, again I've got my markers. lesson learned really be cautious when you buy things off eBay make sure they are correct Right, so here we go again. One more on this side. Now I'm going to flip it over, do exactly the same on the other side. Right, from a diagram, I know that this one goes to that one. That's my three markers. Right, so just doing the last one on the other side. That's starting to look better.
as I said, hats off to these people that do this without even thinking about it. This is so difficult. For anybody that's actually tried this, you know exactly what I mean. Obviously it helps if you actually have the right spokes. But it is starting to get there. So now I need to do the outers. Alright, so for the outers I know that where they cross, one, two, three, four, five, goes in the sixth one. So if I'm putting an outer there, the cross is with this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, it will go to there. So that's where that one goes. So I just need to thread these through and then start lacing them up. All right, so I've actually stood the wheel up. one on that side top marker, one, two, three, four, five, and the cross is in there. And this one will be four on This hole, one, two, three, four. One, two. Remember not to include the uh, valve hole. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Right, so that's that side. No, hang on, made a mistake. It's just spoke. Right, I think I'm actually getting there. It's crisscrossing over nicely. As per my diagram. So I just need to flip this over and do the other side. Alright, so here we go for the other side, exactly the same. So on the crossover one, two, three, four, five, six. So that one will fit into there and so on around the rule. So we can stand this rim up.
thread these last 10 through. one. Right, so the last 10. Again, as on the other side, this is my first cross point. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's the sixth one apart from that, and then it's every four. So one, two, three, four. I don't know why I'm counting because there's only one more hole left in each side. <laughs> I think I've got it. So I've got the crisscross. As you can see, the crisscross behind. So I now just need to tighten up some of these nipples and I'll stand it up. Right, so there we go. I think I actually got it and well chuffed. Obviously it's still got to be trued up yet. So that I'll take the tip from, uh, I believe it was John Boy, so thank you John Boy, uh, with the axle stands. So I'll give that a go. Let's say at the moment. It's just finger tight. I can tell it's not right in the truing because obviously some of the nipples are all the way to the end and loose. Some of them have got quite a lot of thread left. But the actual pattern of doing it is there. Matches the photos I took before I stripped the wheel, which I highly recommend, even though I messed it up the first time. But then again, I had the wrong spoke, so it didn't help, and I wasn't really paying attention, so. But that looks a lot better. The crisscrosses mirror each other. Which is good. So, next thing to do is get the axle stands up on the bench. Take the blankets off, make sure I've got a flat surface, which I have with a work surface underneath. Um, find a, an axle, and pop that through. Right, as I said earlier, I was going to hopefully start to true this wheel up. 
but for the life of me I cannot find my axle stands. I've had a good search through the garage. It is really overcrowded in here anyway, so it is hard to find things. I'm not sure if my son's actually borrowed them and hasn't told me. So I'm going to have to wrap this video up for now and revisit the truing a few episodes down the line so I can get it done properly. But I will be showing you how, how well, I'm going to learn how to true this up and obviously show you at the same time. But as I say, that was, that was quite a long video, but I wanted to get everything in, even the mistakes. As I said, I've made mistakes, I'm learning. I need to show people that I am learning. I could have edited everything out and just gone, this is how you do it, bang, 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 bang. But that's not what I'm about. But I'm pleased with the results. It has come out well. Which is good. I mean, there is a bit, as you can see, there is a bit of give in it. So, as soon as I can get some axle stands, I'll true that up. Again, I'll probably watch a couple of videos just beforehand just to make sure that I'm aware exactly what I'm doing and that I've got everything right. I know now that I've got the spoke pattern right and they're all in the right places and everything fits. Obviously, like I said, having the right spokes actually helps. But pleased I've got to actually this stage. So thanks again for everybody's comments and support. It, it's helped me get to you know and, and tips of how where to go, who to look for on videos, etc. So there, there have been so many. I say Cliff was a good one. John Boy was another one. So thank you very much, you two. Uh, you two. Really, really appreciate it. So I'm going to leave this to one side for now. I will revisit it. I, I want to get this done. Obviously, I've got the rear wheel to do, so I'm going to double check the actual spokes on them and make sure they're correct. If not, I will give these guys a shout. Uh, central central wheel components. I believe they are uh, Birmingham. They've got a website. Really helpful. As usual, subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner, so please like and subscribe, it is important to me, it is important to my channel, I am growing, it's, it's, it's a steady growth, which I'm really, really happy about, it's, it's exceeded my expectations, which is great, I'm learning so much, and hopefully you're seeing that if I can do it, most people can do it, this one was a challenge, but I like a challenge, this, this whole project is a big, big challenge, I'm, I'm going into areas that I've never investigated before. So links to other videos, top left and top right, and join me again next time. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye.